Hello people, it is I, a nerd named BT. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a shorter explanation of the profile because last time it was a little bit over 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm going to just quickly summarize it. This is Shadowflower. If you guys used to know Shadowflower, it used to be a control deck where you would use stance and return and just take control of the board. We're sadly very far beyond the point where return and stance are at any point a good card and the deck is currently now more of a fusion focused deck and it does that really well including summoning a large sum of high level plants one of the main keys is one of the recent cards is clematis clematis can reborn anything including fusion monsters effect monsters any type of monster one of the main uh, ideas of using clematis is getting out one of your other fusion materials or something out in trans but another thing you want to know about clematis is going to be the centerpiece of the deck is that if you tribute over Mecha or you tribute over Javelin, you can reborn both of them with uh, Clematis effect, allowing you to activate the effect again. So this is a very important card that you want to be focusing on the deck. Along with that is going to be one of your main fusion materials for the deck is going to be Entrance, the Shadow Flower Restrictor. This card becomes Entrance, the Flower Ninja Engrave, allowing you to reborn it with Entrance, so you're mostly going to be summoning it off uh, Clematis or off the effect of Venus. So what you want to do with this is that this can be your main way of fusing with high-level monsters. There's enough ways to get into Lindo, though if you have to summon Lindo, that's probably fine. Though Entrance is going to be preferably what you do after your first fusion combo, because this does reset fusion and copy a name, allowing you to go into an additional fusion if possible. Though one of the main issues with the deck is that you do have to get fusion engraved to actually start doing anything, including with Pixie, who also gets back fusion. So one of your two starters for the deck that you're going to be playing is going to be Aprilis and Jundi. Basically what they do is just they both cycle cards out of your hand and they mill three. These two are very important cards. What you want to do is when you use these effects, you get rid of a card in your hand that you consider a brick, being too many high levels, too many low levels, place on the bottom of your deck, draw a fresh new card. So these two are going to be your main ways to be starting a turn, preferably Aprilis if you have it, summon it while you don't control a, another effect monster, which is probably going to be Ryza and Jundi. And then with that is going to be Pot of Avarice. This is going to be a sort of two uh, skillful minded strategy where you have to determine the best turns where you want to stay defensive, build up walls with arrogance, you know, in case you don't see the fusion that turn, or if you want to fusion summon that turn. So a little bit help back on the spell cards, but arrogance does make this deck extremely consistent. Of course, Stance, come back. These two cards aren't really going to be that crazy anymore. Stance is prefer more preferable than come back because once you have an empty board, your opponent probably has a monster that can't be destroyed. But with that, you also have Sunset Rebirth, which you want to always use on your fusion monsters or high-level monsters. The most you can say is that you're going to shotgun this, and then you are safe for a turn. Along with that is one of the other main winning conditions is actually a sort of pseudo combo that if you can pull it off it's pretty good it's actually not that hard to pull it off uh Marin duke gains attack really good but you use the effect with uh kaikia or kaika you allow him to attack directly and then you can attack directly for about four to five thousand attack plus it gains a lot of attack but it's very i wouldn't say rare they get max attack this is going to be one of your main win conditions for the deck since Clematis is honestly the best card that we've gotten from the recent supports. Outside of that, you're more likely going to be focusing on Javelin and maybe Entrance Venus, though Venus or Entrance is not going to be your main focus because getting out Restrictor is significantly better than anything else. But don't let that get ahead of you because you do have the opportunity to extend. You can always Entrance into Entrance, fuse those two, get out. Venus, some, use Venus, summon our Restrictor, then Restrictor, get out your next fusion. Though that does not set up the uh, previous combo, it does let you get out Venus, which is, if it lives another turn, that's a good thing. That means you have back for next turn, and you have a high-level monster. Anyway, guys, I hope you are really excited to play this deck. It was a lot of fun for me to play, and I hope y'all will enjoy the video.